Good afternoon, everyone. I'm David Wade. Boston Mayor Marty Walsh is about to give an update on how the city is continually combating coronavirus. Let's listen in. The latest numbers are 133 cases of the coronavirus in the city of Boston. There are 646 statewide. We've had 15 people in Boston make recoveries, and what that means is they have two negative consecutive coronavirus tests. Uh, this weekend, we had our first coronavirus-related death in the city. Our hearts continue to go out to the family of the loved ones and our thoughts and prayers with the family uh, of all the five um, people that have died in Massachusetts as a result of coronavirus. With each tragic loss, uh, it's a reminder of how dangerous this situation is that we're living in. And we're going to continue to do everything we can uh, as one community to protect each other and prevent further loss of life. Uh, I can also right now unfortunately confirm there's a second Boston resident that has passed away. Uh, this will be reflected in the data shared this afternoon by the state. I want to uh, continue to thank our health care workers and first responders for the work they're doing nonstop to slow the spread of this virus and to um, answer the call uh, when they're asked. Uh, the best way we can do this is to show gratitude for those on the front lines is by staying home because so many other people can't stay home. Physical distancing is the most effective way we have to slow the spread, to keep people healthy and preserve our medical capacity. I can't stress that enough. Physical distancing is something that we need all of the people uh, in Massachusetts to do. Uh, the governor talked about it today uh, during his press conference. Uh, all elected officials, a lot of people talking about it. So we're asking everyone to please, please practice physical social distancing. Uh, about the governor's announcements this morning, you heard the governor issued an emergency order requiring all non-essential non businesses and organizations to close their physical workspace and the facility starting tomorrow at noon for two weeks until April 7th. Um, the order is also limits gathering of 10 people during a state, state of emergency. That's a reduction from the 25 that had previously been, been set. The Massachusetts Department of Public Health is issuing a two-week stay-at-home advisory outlining self-isolation and social distancing protocol. This is not a confinement order, but it, it's, a, it's a, explaining to people that they should stay at home, only leave when you need to. When you go to the grocery store, go to the pharmacy, other essential errands. We also want to remind everyone there's no reason to panic buy or hoard groceries. Our supply chain remains intact and there's no plans to close stores and we're in constant contact with all of our, our grocery stores.